Looks like they might be like shooting at our yeah. chest. Welcome everybody to Carmel Fest 2023. I am Dave Dugan. This is my, my good friend Paul Mendenhall. Hey Dave, how's it going? Uh, Paul, it's good. We, uh, we're ready for a lot of excitement. We're ready for a world record coming up uh, a little after 10. Lots of uh, great interviews on the way. A world record? Uh, I believe so. It's a, a world record for uh, wearing uh, fire hats. Uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> some, that sounds good. That's, that's yeah. a real record. We have, so we have these little hats, and we, uh, we all put them on in the street, and then they, they do a drone over us, and then all of a sudden we're... Uh, well, no, we're not famous for it, but anyway, there's a, we're, there's a, there's a world record. Now, uh, wait a wait. Potential. Speaking of world records, uh, just real quickly, Dave, I, I understand that you just officially got recognized for a world record that you set. Well, it was last year, but it just officially uh, got the word. I guess it took them they had to watch every minute of footage of uh, doing 1,001 laps around the roundabout, uh, which would be a thankless task for somebody to watch all that. I, I was driving, and I didn't, even, I didn't even watch all of it. It was pretty boring. I dozed off about 10 or 12 laps, so... But uh, yeah, it's it's now official from uh, not not the Guinness Book of World Records. I think it's like the Schlitz Light, uh, uh, or no, I don't know. It's the uh, record setter. That's what they call themselves. So thanks for bringing it up, Paul. And uh, yeah, that's uh, I'm not I'm not dizzy. Anyway, we're uh, we're here wearing our. Uh, we both just uh, realized we're both wearing shirts from Goodwill. Yeah, that's right. And Thank I'm, you I'm very wearing, much for uh, revealing I'm that. I'm wearing uh, cargo shorts to show off my new uh, poison sumac uh, uh, rash. Oh, so. That's great. That, that, let's, let, let's get going here. All right, I think we've got the, the first dignitary standing by, and it's an important year for him. It sure is. <laughs> okay, and I would like to introduce from CBS4, where we're streaming live on the Indy Facebook uh, page, uh, uh, Melissa Crash, yes. anchor, <laughs> and uh, meteorologist Krista McEnany. Take it away with the interviews. Hey, that was wonderful. So we did not get our shirts from Goodwill. No, we, we did didn't. not. No, <laughs> from we CBS like your store. style. <laughs> they look <laughs> good. <laughs> Mayor Jim Brainerd is joining us. What an incredible day. What a beautiful weather to be out here for Carmel Fest. What does it mean to you to be out here? Well, it's always fun to be at Carmel Fest, see everybody from the entire community come together to celebrate our country's independence. Absolutely, and this is your last year here at Carmel Fest as mayor of Carmel. What does that mean to you? Well, it's been 28 years, and it's been fun to see not just the city, but this festival grow. And, uh, you know, I see so many people I don't get to see all year long, and it's just great community gathering. Absolutely. After all of these years out here at Carmel Fest, and even with this being your last one, are you kind of reflecting back on some of your favorite memories of Carmel Fest over the years? Of course. It's <laughs> been uh, fun to see it grow and develop, and the parade's gotten bigger and more people come, and 
fireworks have gotten longer every year and mm -hmm. now we have two venues you know we we used to just do it in front of city hall now we've got music over at the carter green by the palladium as well as in front of city hall tonight's going to be a great uh, concert by the carmel symphony orchestra at uh, eight o'clock right in front of city hall and that's a great place to watch the fireworks too Absolutely. Do you have a favorite part of Carmel Fest that you look forward to every year? Well, I do enjoy the symphony concert every year right before the fireworks. It's a great patriotic concert. And, you know, we're fortunate to have a symphony like Carmel here. At a, uh, and uh, that's always a fun part of the event for me. Now, I do have to ask, for those watching at home that maybe weren't able to make it out here to Carmel Fest today, what would you like to say to them? Well, just have fun, celebrate our independence, and be safe. All right. Good that advice. was one. That's great advice. Thank you, Mayor Brainerd. Well, all we right. Have a whole lineup here. So much fun that we're going to have at Carmel Fest. A lot of uh, people, yes. a lot of guests that we have here as well. Is Absolutely. there anything else that you want to uh, say for your last remarks here for our last any live stream? <laughs> have fun. All right. Have have thank fun. you. Let's do it. You know, it's a great time for everybody to come downtown, enjoy our beautiful city. And, and meet other people from the community. Absolutely. Thank you, Mayor. We appreciate it. Have fun today. Well, All yeah. right. All right. Up next, we have Julie Schattinger. Yes. The Rotary Club, Club president. Yes. 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 Thank you so much for being here. I'm glad to be here. And I am so proud of my club. Rotary Club of Carmel has done a great job with this great history. Some amazing people that spent years and years. Mm -hmm. We have one parade official retiring. <laughs> and we're so proud of Steve and Beck. So many good people here. This whole street is completely lined with folks, and let's tell them. Oh, look behind us here. Now that's there incredible. Comes my group. <laughs> Everybody uh -huh. wave. Here we go. Hey. Yes. Yay, Rotary. <laughs> that is. So, where do you get a bike like that? They've had it a long <laughs> time. Of course, it's always a storage issue too. <laughs> yeah, where do you store Where's something that? like that? I actually don't know the answer to that. <laughs> tell us a little it's, bit about the Rotary Club and what all you do for folks who might not know. So I'm happy to tell you that we've spent 52 years in this community and it's all about the money that we make from this event, getting back out to many multiple organizations. It's all volunteer and the money we do make is not staying with us. We don't live on that money. Yeah. We are very happy to get it back out. So uh, many service projects always looking at ways that we can help. We have a wonderful community grants team. Mm -hmm. So we're always looking to, to distribute the money and take care of people. And getting prepared for such a big event like this, how much time does it take? When do you start preparing? And what's your um, you know, crew like as far yes. as how many people you have on? So next year's chairman has already told me that it starts tomorrow. Uh oh, <laughs> tomorrow. Uh, so no rest for the weary, you know. So a, a multitude of volunteers. I mean, it's a huge effort. We're grateful, too, because we're supplemented by people in the community who sign up with this as well so very delightful we're excited about it what's something that you're looking forward to today well I have to admit I haven't done a parade <laughs> kind of thing before and so I'm really delighted to have a chance to ride and ride with some great people our uh, Rosa winner and our current chairman Steve Cruzy yes and so just celebrating our club and we're glad you're here, too. Thank you. Well, thank you for thank speaking you. with us. We appreciate it. I hope you have thank a great 4th of July. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You mentioned Steve Kersey. That's who's next. We're going to yeah. speak with him. Absolutely. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, hey, wow. Steve, how's it going? Great. Uh, can you ask for better weather than this? Is this marvelous? It's hey, you've yeah. got the meteorologist right here, so you got to thank her, not me. <laughs> All right, I'll take credit this time. I'm sweating. Thank you. I'm thank actually you. a little steamy. I wish that we need a cloud to go A little this breeze time. would be nice. Yeah, that would be, be perfect, nice. right? Yeah, right? Uh, so tell us a little bit about, as the chair here, what goes into such an incredible day? Look at all these families. You see them. They've been waiting for this day for several weeks, months even. So 
and we've been planning for several months to get the, to this point. Um, we have a tremendous committee of volunteers that put in the time and effort to organize and reach out and, and bring all of this together so that uh, really, I mean, to me, this is like, yes, it's here in Carmel, but I just meet so many people from all around Hamilton County and even Marion County that come up for the parade because it is a spectacular parade. We have over 90 floats today in the wow. parade. We're going to have a military flyover any minute now. Ooh. So it's just super exciting to be part of this. And overall attendance, I know it draws in thousands and thousands of people. How many people are going to be down here, do you think, today? Well, so we're estimating that at the parade, we're going to have around 30,000 spectators. And then uh, once we move over to Carter Green and Civic Square, which is where Carmel Fest takes place, we're estimating that probably another 10 to 15,000 people will join them down there. So we're expecting a super large crowd today, because tonight is the only night that we're having fireworks in Carmel. Oh, and nice. it's going to be a spectacular 30-minute show, and it begins at 9.45. So come early, because seats will not be available <laughs> at 9.30, I'm telling you now. <laughs> Can you tell us a little more about this flyover that's going to be happening? I feel like people are kind of setting up, ready to go to see this. Can you tell us a little more? Well, I, I know that the, uh, it's the uh, guard from uh, Fort Wayne that's okay. going to be coming down and flying over at 10:12, and they're usually right on time, right. and they're going to be coming from the north and flying south along range line road so it doesn't matter where you're sitting you're gonna see it as they fly down range line road okay. can we get a time check where okay. are we at we are at 10 so okay. we have about four minutes just under four minutes okay for the fly one more thing I just want to let people know that when they come down to Carter Green or Civic Square not only are we gonna have over 90 marketplace vendors over 40 food vendors but our kids zone has several new rides and the animal farm is there for the youngsters to pet the animals so there's going to be a spectacular day in Midtown Carmel and for all of those events uh, especially the kid related ones are those going to be ongoing all the way up until fireworks time actually that's a great question thank you for asking uh, the rides will be shutting down at 9 o'clock for safety reasons okay. and so I just want to make sure that folks know if your kids want to ride and even if the younger kids or older kids want to ride, we got to have them done by 9 o'clock. Okay, well, good, good to, you to want to be getting in your seat by 9 o'clock anyway to get, get in for that show. I've been asking everyone before they go off and enjoy the festivities, what is your favorite part about Carmel Fest? I mean, obviously, there are so many to choose from. There is. There, is, that there is. I love the live entertainment because, number one, it's free, and it's usually the best of all the local uh, performers here in central Indiana that want to, they ask us, can we perform at Carmel Fest? Mm -hmm. uh, but actually, just look around and see all the thousands of people that are here, your family, your friends, your neighbors, and, and I meet every year people that I've never met that say, Steve, thank you for what Carmel Rotary does to present Carmel Fest, and I just want to say thank you back to them to supporting us, so Incredible. that's my favorite part. I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. I know it's going to be a busy day, it so will be busy. we won't take much, too much of All your right, time. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's time see. check here. We are about two minutes away. Okay. All right. Let's From go ahead and bring over. our next guest in, Michael Dunlap, oh. the Merchants Bank of Indiana CEO and mascot Hopper. Hopper. Hi, Hopper. We were trying to remember what your name was earlier. <laughs> Hopper here. We figured it yes. out. <laughs> and the Carmel Best presenting sponsor. And can you tell us a little bit about how important it is to be a sponsor of such a, an incredible event like this? Yeah, so this is our first year. And when the Rotary Club came to us and said you could be a sponsor, we absolutely jumped at the chance. I mean, to think about what the Rotary Club does, a volunteer organization putting on something of this magnitude. And uh, you know, we're based right downtown in Midtown Plaza. So all our employees are there. We're part of this community. We feel like we're the fabric of the community. We feel like we can really help people financially you know, do, be do a better job. So uh, we have a lot to offer, and we're just super excited to be a part of it. 
Yeah. That's great, and I love how you ju used jump there. Yeah. That was a good pun. Yeah. I don't know if you meant to or not, but that was great. Hopper liked jump. it too. <laughs> Always looking out for him. <laughs> Always looking out for him, absolutely. Yeah. What are you looking forward to most for today? Well, I just think it's the excitement. I mean, here we're celebrating Independence Day, and when you think about what goes on in this world to be out with family and friends and having fun and on such a positive note uh, and on a beautiful day, uh, it just doesn't get any better than that. So we're excited just about everything and just being a part of it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And we should be having that flyover here in about 20 seconds. Oh, and, wow. You know, have you, um, you know, been out here in years where we've had as big of a crowd and just feeling this kind of excitement or even been here in a live interview where we're waiting for a flyover <laughs> here any minute? Uh, I'm new to this live stuff, but it's kind of fun. I really like this that. This is a but, first. Uh, yes. we've never Not been the so, last. It's, and it's huge this year. It really is a great year. So we're excited. Ooh, yeah. we got Carmel Fire Department coming through behind yeah. us. Let's take a look. Yeah, why not? People are cheering them on oh. as well, waving them high. Hey. Hey. They you got know, some fans in the back, too. Yeah, we've got some fans <laughs> out here. It's hot out here, but I think everybody's, you know, prepared. This is what it should feel like on of the course. 4th of July. Of so course. what are some of your, you know, kind of top takeaways from being out here and a sponsor of Carmel Fest and what you just hope everybody else can take away from this as well? Well, you just realize how fun it is to see each other. You yes. know, with COVID and getting past that, it really is about relationships. And so for people to interact and have fun together, that to me is really the takeaway. We've got a ton of our employees that are going to march with us in the parade. So we all get to come together. Our families get to come together. So that, that just, it's awesome. Incredible. We really enjoy it. We were talking about how hot it was. Hopper, can you give us a thumbs up or how you feeling? You're warm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, you're doing all right. High, High five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate that. Well, thank you thank for stopping you. by. Yes. We appreciate it. Thank Enjoy you. Carmel Fest. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. All right, Melissa, we're getting a lot of crowd right we here. Are. And everybody looks really excited just to kind of yes. get this parade going. And we're about little under 50 or a little over 15 minutes from the parade oh so, wonderful yeah, just it's getting there we're getting close yes i can't wait for the flyover so i'm keeping yeah, it yeah make sure yeah. everyone sees it make sure you let us know yeah we are speaking with kara seward now with allied solutions the second vice president a parade sponsor good afternoon thank you so much for having us yes thanks for being here i love your america sunglasses you. as well <laughs> tell us a little bit about allied solutions and what you all do so we're headquartered down in midtown plaza in carmel here here, and we are one of the nation's largest provider of lending, deposit, marketing, and insurance products to financial institutions. Wonderful. What does it mean for you to partner and sponsor here with Carmel Fest? Yeah, well, we are a fan of Carmel. Oh, I love um, that. So I brought I'm going to ask you. It's getting them. hot. Um, yes. And, uh, you know, we're just really happy to be here to be supporting the community, bringing everybody together for this shared experience. It's really exciting. Um, and to have everybody here and have the Rotary, this yes. entire volunteer event pulled together for everybody to celebrate. Absolutely. And are you kind of feeling, you know, like watching these crowds growing? I just love seeing just the patriotic display, <laughs> you know, through the wardrobe and everybody's accessories. And just kind of what feeling do you have here in the moment? It's really exciting. Um, you know, I, I had an opportunity to go over to Carmel Fest yesterday, had a funnel cake, a lemon shake up. Ooh. And, you know, it's just so much fun to come and enjoy the community and have everybody come together. So are you guys in the parade today? We are. We actually, um, we have a unique par partnership this year. Um, we have some of our employees walking with the American Red Cross Indiana region. Oh, wow. So the Indiana Red Cross, uh, excuse me, the American Red Cross has brought out an emergency response vehicle, which is the vehicle they deploy for emergency and relief operations. Um, and so it's an opportunity for us to highlight another great community partner who's helping. We'll have to keep an eye out for that car. Yeah. Absolutely. Anything else you'd like to share about Allied Solutions and what people should know if they're watching? Oh, look up. Everybody look up. Flyover's happening.
Well, that was great. Incredible. I'm glad. Yeah. Shout out to whoever just said, look up. Look and up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. What a perfect way to start yeah. the 4th of July and all the celebrations that are happening. Yeah. And anything else you did want anybody to know about Allied Solutions and their partners? We just want everybody to have a great time today and have sit and be safe and enjoy yourselves. Fantastic. Thank you so Thanks. much. Have a happy Enjoy. Four. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Now this next guest mm -hmm. is very special, Krista. Mm -hmm. Phyllis Rockhill with Clay Township Pioneer Descendants, the Parade Grand Marshals. Phyllis, thank you so much yeah. for joining Come us. I'm here, Phyllis. Glad to be here. Thank you. Uh, I've been here for several years. Uh, my ancestors settled in, uh, in uh, Hortonville, wow. and then they came, we came, my father came to Carmel when I was twin in 1926. Wow. And he started a meat market here. And so I'm a city kid, and Carmel was a country school. Uh, so I'm just one of the few kids that lived in town, and, and it was just exciting. And it's changed so much. I mean, we've got, we had farms right on Main Street here. And farms on Main Street? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure if you ask a lot of the, um, mo probably most people here, they did not know that, that oh. the Carmel was a country town. City. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, the Lions Club is with a nice little farm, and then about two uh, houses uh, east of it was another farmhouse. So, I mean, yeah, it was, we were country. Wow. And it's, haven't we advanced greatly? Oh, say it's, so. a, it's a great place to live, and I, I called it my Garden of Eden. I think it's just, it's a great, exciting place, and lots of things are happening. Absolutely. So your Garden of Eden, how are you feeling about it today, watching just how much it's changed over the years, and knowing we're going to have a spectacular show tonight? What kind of feeling do you have here in this moment? Oh, this is going to be great. I'm excited. <laughs> this is a privilege, and thank you for having me here. And you're one of the Parade Grand Marshals, is that yes, correct? Yes, I am. Thank you. I'm one of the old ones. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean to you to say, I'm the Carmel Fest Grand Marshal today? Oh, it, it's, it's a thrill. Thank you so much. I appreciate this. Now, I have to ask, because you mentioned it was your father who started a meat market in 1926. 1926. Wow. Is that meat market still around? No, it oh. isn't. He, <laughs> he closed up in the 50s when things began to happen in Carmel. We began to grow, you know. And in, in around 50, in the 1950s, why we were gr outgrowing our school system. And I had a class in the a French church basement. And oh, wow. then they opened up Orchard Park. And I took my children down to Orchard Park. So then when they built Carmel Elementary, mm -hmm. I came to Carmel Elementary. So I taught 28 years here in Carmel. Really? Incredible. That's incredible. Yes. Yeah, so you've seen Carmel just from everything that it's gone through. You were just mentioning this. Oh, thank you. Do you, you have you. a favorite spot to check <laughs> out in Carmel? What's like one of your favorite things to do here? Oh, well, uh, by teaching, I have a lot of friends around. And it, uh, it's just exciting to see how my friends and my kids have all grown up and how they, what they're doing in their lives. And it's, it's, it's exciting. I love it. I'm having a great time. Phyllis, that's amazing. That's wonderful. Well, I hope you have a wonderful Carmel Fest. Is there something in particular you're looking forward to today? No. <laughs> well, All of it. I t <laughs> it is great. I mean, I said, I've, for 99, I feel like I'm, I'm privileged. So thank the Lord for every day I have. Thank you. 99 years old. Thank you. Amazing. You're incredible. Well, Phyllis, <laughs> have a happy four. Thanks for joining us this morning. Everybody look for her in the parade. Let's give Hi. Phyllis a round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that. Thank you. Thank you. Happy 4th of July. Yeah, happy 4th Please. of July. Thanks so much, Phyllis. <laughs> And we have just a couple more guests here yes, we before do. we get our parade kicked off here in just 10 minutes. So our next one, Sydney Bridges. Bridges. Miss Indiana, yeah. 2023. Hi, Sydney. Hello. 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 So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm loving the crown, the outfit, Thank everything. You, you look Thank beautiful. You. Thank you. <laughs> what does it mean for you to be here at Carmel Fest today? Yeah, so uh, I just won Miss Indiana on June 17th. So it's been about three weeks. Um, and one of the first things I was asked to do 
was come here, be in the parade, talk to you guys today. Um, one of my favorite things to do is speak, so <laughs> I'm really happy to be, well, you know, just talking right now. Here you oh. go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> take your job, take your job. <laughs> um, I'm really happy to just be talking and meeting so many people and um, learning the stories of so many different people here, uh, so it's very cool. As part of Miss Indiana, where are you from? Yeah, so I'm from Fort Wayne. Okay. Um, I start my job actually at Riley Hospital on um, Monday. So I will be moving to Indy on Friday. So I'm a Fort Wayne native for just a few more days. Congratulations. <laughs> Incredible. Can you tell me just kind of what's going through your head right now? It's only been a few weeks since you've been crowned. You're here at Carmel Fest. You're about to make a big move. Just, you know, just how has everything evolved from you and, and just how does this all feel? Well, I graduated in April, passed my NCLEX in May, one Miss Indiana in June, moving in July. So it sounds like a lot. However, it's so cool to be going through all these life transitions at once. And I can only imagine the, the different person I'm going to be a year from now. I mean, so many moves, so many transitions, um, representing Indiana for a whole year, starting a new job. But it's everything that I love to do um, and it's everything that I'm passionate about so I'm lucky that work doesn't feel like work it yes. just feels like an enjoy an enjoyment an enjoyment yes <laughs> very well said so big things in April May June July <laughs> we're expecting something big in August too so we'll see what we'll that brings stay tuned. wow yeah. real quick what does it mean for you to represent as Miss Indiana especially again here at Carmel Fest uh, to represent here uh, as Miss Indiana today and for the next like 350 days means the world to me. Um, I grew up not really believing that I could do something like this and so one of my biggest missions is to impact young kids. My community service initiative is the power of mentoring so everywhere I go I work to meet at least one kid and ask them how they're doing and hopefully inspire them to do this as well. Love that. It's a great mission. Yeah. Well, thank you, Sydney, so yeah. much for stopping by. Thank this was you. wonderful. Thank and good you. luck to yes. whatever August holds. Right? Yes. <laughs> yes. We'll be watching. Have a happy 4th of July. Yes. Oh, okay. Incredible. She's amazing. Yeah, amazing. Wow, and just graduated Beautiful. and have already accomplished yeah. all of that. And now Ooh. starting at Riley on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> She's busy. She's busy. She's Just busy. a little busy. Just a little bit. Our next guest is Peggy Powell, who's a former parade director and parade administrator, retiring from Carmel Fest Parade Committee. Peggy. Hey, hey Peggy. Come on over. Come on over. <laughs> Happy 4th of July. Yeah. July to you. <laughs> and so we yeah. heard you're retiring this year. I am. After 16 years. After 16 years? Yeah. Oh, wow. So what does today mean to you to be out here? And oh, it's always exciting. I love the parade, and I'll continue loving the parade. But 16 years and eight years of chairing, I think I'm going to take a little break. Yeah. She's like, I'm going to and just enjoy it next yes, year. And you exactly guys right. <laughs> do all the hard work. Yes. <laughs> now you can set up your chair along the sideway and advance and just relax. It's root for everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's one of your favorite parts of Carmel Fest, especially, you know, since you have been doing it for so long and probably oh. have seen it evolve over so many years? You know, just <laughs> after all the planning, which takes a year, and then you come here and you see that it's really here it came alive and having the governor come and every that everybody's just having such a great time mm -hmm. i know we're having a great time yeah. so it's all that hard work is paying off yeah. absolutely and after all of these years is there any kind of one you know key thing that people who are coming down to watch that they really need to know one takeaway that you want them to know about getting the best experience here at Carmel Fest, or is it just kind of There's taking so the many, whole thing there? in? I would say that. I mean, we love our bands, we love our floats, we love the people that participate every year, and just come and have a wonderful day. I know we are. I yeah. know we're going to have a wonderful day. Ooh, is that a cloud? Yeah, we got Let's under all a cloud. Let's all just take this moment in. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you need a little breeze? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no rain. rain. No, no. We can't have any of that. Yeah. Don't worry. We have the meteorologist here. Chris yeah. is going to... Yeah. Do my best to keep the rain away, <laughs> but we're good. We're good right now. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Peggy, what would you like people to know if they're watching from home and they're not able to get out here this year, but maybe, hey, maybe they should come next year? Oh, do try and come. You you, you just can't believe the the excitement, and, and it's just so much fun. Just come and enjoy. We will. Yes. Oh, we might have a special oh, guest man. coming by. We have oh, Spider-Man. Spider-Man on a bike. Spider-Man on a bike. Yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. waving to the fans. 
<laughs> well, the kids are loving it. <laughs> well, you, thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. We hope you have a happy 4th of July, and we hope your last year here uh, taking part in the festival yes. just goes spectacularly, and we'll continue to see you out here in future years. And really enjoy right. it next yeah. year. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Have a happy 4th. Thanks. Happy 4th. Oh, I was really happy about yeah, that. I know, yeah, second, we should bring her back because she, you know, <laughs> helped us get some shade. And here we <laughs> are. Look who we have. Beck Hunter with us this morning. Oh, hey, Beck. How, how are you guys? This is one busy lady today uh, here at Carmel Fest. You are a witness. You saw my phone going off and my radio going uh -huh. off and you're trying to talk to everybody. It's been a busy morning. It would seem like you have a lot more hands than you actually do from what I've been witnessing this yes. morning. Yep. It's pretty impressive. It is very <laughs> impressive. I work well under pressure, but sometimes Sometimes it'll it'll get to you, so you just have to take a deep breath and move on, right? Yeah. Well, all your hard work is really paying off. It seems oh. like everyone's having such a great time yes. already, and the fun is just getting started. We that parade are. is going to kick off here soon. Yes, and what you can't see is all of the organized chaos that's going <laughs> on that direction, you know, where we're getting everyone into line up, and so uh, we have some down here on Carmel Drive they are lining up at the moment, but uh, yeah, there's a lot going on here. Could you tell us a little bit about that organized chaos, about what are, can people expect as this parade kicks off here soon? What are they going to see? They're going to see a lot of uh, unique and different units this year. We have Barbie and Ken coming Ooh, in a pink I'm excited. vehicle. So uh, we have Tiny the T-Rex dinosaur, and we have uh, Leonardo the uh, Ninja Turtle oh. so and Gwen Stacy from the Spider-Man series so we've got a lot of princesses coming and of course Channel 4 is going to be there in of their course. beautiful car you wait till you see that we made sure that they got that car this year so and we appreciate, <laughs> we appreciate that yes you'll enjoy <laughs> it so somebody needs to uh, at the station needs to take your photo off oh. of our live stream yes. and if you're not, you know, if you're watching or anybody out here, if uh, you want to call grandpa and grandma, you know, that live in Arizona or Florida and let them know we're live streaming on the CBS4 Indie yes. Facebook page. Absolutely. <laughs> it's such a fun day. I mean, to be in Carmel all day long, even yesterday, but today with the parade going on, you can just feel the excitement here. Yes, it's wonderful. Yes, it's a very patriotic parade this year, and everybody's <laughs> going to have a good time. It's going to be great weather, thanks to you again. <laughs> and, you know, so um, we love it, and it's going to get warm, so be sure you hydrate, wear your sunscreen, yes. and we'll have a great time. And I'm going to introduce some of the Carmel High School choir Wonderful. groups and let a few of them speak because they have been singing our uh, Star Spangled Banner for us. And I would just like to introduce you. Yeah. Let's do it. Come on in Come here. On Come on up. So Come on over, table. Carmel. Okay. Choir. All right. Hi. You guys look incredible. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to step over here yeah. so I can get the microphone. Here we go. Yeah. How's everyone doing? Oh, yeah. real quick, and let's say hello to everybody running right by here. And we got our runners. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Incredible. All right, Carmel Choir, how does it feel to be out here today? Feels great. I mean, it's really hot outside, and that's really good <laughs> for the fourth. So we're really excited. Yeah. And when you knew you were going to be singing here at Carmel Fest, what was that feeling that kind of came over you? We were so excited just every single year. It's just fantastic that we get this opportunity to sing. and It's just so much fun. We love doing it. So obviously being out here, I'm sure you guys have a lot of friends and family that are watching too. Would you like to say anything to them? We love you guys so much. Thank you for all your support. You can give a wave. You can do a wave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're standing right behind us. Uh, I didn't see that. <laughs> Hi, family. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All right, and we are just seconds away from the kickoff of the Carmel Fest Parade. So we'll go right, ahead we're gonna and let, let y'all take it away. And gentlemen, take it away. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight Who's got strong? Who's got strong? Bright stars and bright stars. To the perilous fight, for the ramparts we 
All right, hello. We are live and ready for action here. In fact, actually, the parade started to uh, proceed. <laughs> well, <laughs> gosh, Paul, I haven't been this excited, I don't think, since uh, I was given a solar-powered hula girl for my dashboard. It's going to be quite a, uh, quite a parade today with perfect weather. We had a flyover that happened. Uh, if, if somebody might have heard you know, that, that happening, we can now talk about it, I guess. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a great flyover. And also, we've had uh, Spider-Man came by. Uh, the Carmel High School Choir just did a, a magnificent job with the chorus there, with the uh, with the Star Spangled Banner, and here comes uh, we've had the Carmel Police Department come by, and here we come. It looks like the Carmel VFW and American Legion Honor Guard presenting the colors. VFW State Commander Richard Learer and Terry. But maybe I get ahead of myself, Dave. Is this the... Uh, I think you're right on uh, target, Dave. Uh, right on target. A few things were uh, going by when the, when the Star Spangled Banner was playing, so... Darren Bebo is the newly inducted commander of Carmel VFW post 10,003. Here comes Carmel's finest, the Carmel Police Department, led by Sergeant Hasty and Officer Hill on motorcycles. Uh, that they've already gone by. CPD Chief Jim Barlow, along with the CPD SWAT Bearcat, which is what we're looking at right there. And the Carmel VFW and American Legion Honor Guard. We have the uh, VFW going by here. This is State Commander Richard Learer and Terry aboard that. Uh, Darren Bebo is the newly inducted commander of Carmel VFW Post 10003. And also today we'll be seeing Rick Curtis, existing commander, American Legion Post 155, and thank you to Schneider Trucking for their continued support. Well, Dave, oh, we have a brand new sponsor. Oh, go ahead. Oh, no, no, I was just going to say it's just great to be alongside you again. This is maybe what our 21st year of 21st doing this. 21st year of us doing this together for those keeping score. And if you are keeping score, uh, you might win a shower cap or a bouncy ball or something just as nice. So. <laughs> Yeah, this is number 21 for us doing this together, Paul, yeah. We have a brand new sponsor this year, Merchants Bank of Indiana. And I believe they are not on camera yet. So not yet. This is still the VFW. This is uh, from Schneider Trucking. And look at uh, the patriotic truck cab there, and followed by members of the VFW, and support your local veterans. Keep your veterans in mind, and thank you so much for your service here on this most patriotic of American holidays. It is uh, my fault for jumping uh, jumping too quickly, Paul, and I think a lot of that are side effects from the uh, uh, the 1,001 laps around the roundabout last year, the <laughs> world record, because uh, I do have some side effects actually ringing in my ears, lock, oh, jaw, lock jaw and the uh, permanently uh, numb uh, accelerator foot. But Merchants Bank of Indiana is our Carmel Fest sponsor this year. And we're glad to have them on board. We have a, uh, a great convertible there. Uh, and inside is Mr. Michael Dunlap, the CEO of Merchants Bank of Indiana. And a whole bunch of great employees as well that make that work. And that's Hopper. Uh, it's, uh, that's our first uh, mascot. Well, you said Spider-Man went by, but that's the first one I got to look at. Inspired by <laughs> Dennis Hopper, I believe. Uh, <laughs> I don't uh, think so. uh, who wore the ill-fitting suit on game day in Hoosiers. I think so. Oh, I think I'm on to some yeah. fun fact. If you like the fun facts, Paul, just stick, stick around. <laughs> All right. Okay, so anyway, uh, we have Hopper. Uh, so make sure, to, and it tells me to say this, make sure to hop on over, you see what uh, I did, to one of the convenient banking centers mm -hmm. of our sponsor today of Carmel Fest Merchants Bank. Now, this is really cool, what's happening here. This next unit, Clay Township Pioneer Descendants. This is part of Hamilton County uh, Bicentennial, which is happening uh, this year, I believe. And we have uh, several of the Pioneer families on board with us. Uh, uh, some names that were, were big around here. There goes Paul Hensel, the Clay Township trustee, and Doug Callahan, the uh, uh, retired uh, Clay Township trustee. Here come the Pioneers and some people on board here. We saw Mrs. Rockhill. So many uh, people I talked to, I didn't have Mrs. Rockhill in school, but she was an elementary teacher back in, in the day. She's 99 years old. She was just on uh, interviewed here on the Facebook stream. And inside this uh, bus, we've got uh, people like the, the Kensers, the Henshaws. Henshaw, that was a big name. Hensel, Estridge. Moffitt's, Purcell, all those folks oh, that we've heard about for years. Purcell, yeah, I saw that I think that they go back there. nine generations, some of them. So to, uh, that is her. really cool. So it's just uh, such a privilege to have those people. And we want to uh, make a special thank you to the Clay Township Board for supporting this parade entry. Once again, our parade sponsor this year, Allied Solutions. 
And they are proud to be a partner with the American Red Cross uh, of the Indiana region in today's parade. The Red Cross dedicated to making our communities safer, more resilient by providing local disaster relief, collecting blood, all the things they do, supporting the veterans, members of the armed forces, and so forth. Uh, and it's good to have both Allied Solutions as our parade sponsor and American Red Cross at Carmel Fest 2023. Oh, my voice, uh, I think my voice is changing a little bit, Paul. I don't know if that's uh Here comes the Carmel Fire Department. I don't see the fire trucks yet, but I see uh, some of the members of the Carmel Fire Department. Carmel's bravest walking past us here, the CFD Honor Guard, the CFD Pipes and Drums, the Honor Platoon. And I believe I hear them coming down the street. Thank you to the Carmel firefighters for everything that they do for the community. Thank you so much. It's great to see you today. And here comes their mascot. <laughs> it's great to see those kids. I know they're having a lot of fun here. Uh, Fourth of July that they were, they're not gonna forget riding through the uh, Carmel Fest Parade. Allied Solutions, Carmel Fest 2023 Parade. Here comes the rest of the fire engines. Now, the, the, the things that you're seeing here, we saw the Sparky Parade float go by. We got the uh, Casey van, the Ambulance 341, the Engine 341, Tiller 341, and this is the 1936 Dodge Aaron Fox. It's presented by Steve Martin and Farm Bureau Insurance. Carmel Fire Department is always ready and prepared for any fire or medical emergency. And some members of the Carmel City Council, Dave, are, are coming up here on this uh, next fire truck, I believe. There you have them, Paul, uh, riding on Carmel Fire Truck. There we have President Jeff Worrell, Vice President Laura Campbell, at-large Councilor Kevin Woody Ryder, and Southeast District Councilor Adam Hassan. So we've got, uh, we got everybody here today in the fire department from this Carmel City Council. Well, most everybody. I mean, that's not the entire council, but... Uh, <laughs> The Rotary Club of Carmel is uh, always uh, great to have on board for the Carmel Fest, Paul. Yeah, their president, Julie London Schettinger, uh, accompanied by the Rotarian of the Year, Steve Cruci, who is also our Carmel Fest chair. And just interviewed a little bit ago, in fact. Here comes Julie. Julie uh, passing by a review stand right now. She is the president. Hello. Followed by Steve Cruci. Good to see you again, Steve. And the Carmel Rotary Club, uh, many members here on the bicycle. This has been a, a feature of Carmel Fest ever since I've been part of it for the 21 uh, years that I've been calling us with you, Dave. It's always fun to see this bike. Uh, a little bittersweet for me, Paul, when I was, uh, <laughs> when I was single. I tried to woo the uh, uh, Octomom with this uh, <laughs> cycling invention, and she didn't know everybody that rides on it comes with it. So that, anyway, that, uh, that that went belly up. But uh, this is uh, the Carmel Rotary uh, with a bike that was actually um, was was created by Rotarian Nick Kessner, who I bought many bikes from the Carmel Schwinn. Uh, Carmel Schwinn bike that he had in exercise equipment. I really. <laughs> Jim Brainerd, and this is really, this is kind of sad almost. This is going to be his last, uh, well, I'm not, that makes it sound like he's on his way out. He's not. He's on his way, his way out as Carmel Mayor. This is going to be his last parade as Carmel Mayor. And he has done so much. And I think one of the things that Jim really wants to be uh, remembered for as far as his leadership, the changes he's made here at Carmel, he has reduced the city's carbon emissions by an estimated 28,000 tons annually. Part of it from the roundabouts, Dave, which you just set the record for, <laughs> but a lot of other initiatives, too, here in Carmel. So we want to remember uh, Jim's years of service, 27 of them so far, for all of that. And here's the Carmel Marching Greyhounds. Welcome our Greyhounds. 
just off. Well, this is an award-winning performance, actually, that we're uh, hearing Paul and seeing. Marching Greyhounds are under the direction of band directors Chris Crakey, Andrew Cook, Michael Pote, Kyle Young, Matt Black, and color guard director Aaron Boone. Led by drum majors Owen Russell, Devin Sapper, Jake Johnson, McKenna Moon, and Prashet Sawali. The marching Greyhounds are one of the most highly decorated marching ensembles in the United States. Six-time Indiana State champion, Carmel Marching Greyhounds. Carmel Marching Greyhounds, the Carmel JV Color Guard, led by Carmel Guard alumni Morgan Bishop and Samantha Van Derving. The Carmel JV Color Guard consists of members ranging from third to eighth grade, represents future members of the Carmel Marching Greyhounds Color Guard. Actually, these girls look a little bit old for that. <laughs> I, think, I think they're coming up, and then maybe that was the... Uh, was that the actual uh, Carmel Marching Guard itself? I, the color guard's still to come, but I would have I would have done the same oh, thing I you see did, Paul. Them coming. Like I know, <laughs> I know, I know. Here they come. Here they come. They're yeah. coming down the street. That was actually I thought. Well, these girls are uh, well quite mature for that. Well, we might mention that uh -huh. the, uh, the <laughs> those mature girls and the Marching Greyhounds uh, were part of the Thanksgiving parade, Macy's uh, Thanksgiving parade oh. last year. Okay, that's cool. Here comes the JV color guard. Let's put our hands together for the Carmel JV Color Guard. These are the girls that are in third to eighth grade, representing the future members of the Carmel Marching Greyhounds Color Guard, something to set their sights on, as led by Morgan Bishop and Samantha Vanderveen. And even though we're back here in the... Uh in the review booth, uh, Paul, that doesn't mean we don't like the candy that's being thrown out <laughs> in case. Although, you remember that one year when I got pelted you with a rock-hard Tootsie Roll yeah, right in the sternum and I couldn't nailed. talk for about 20 minutes? Yeah, I remember. Oh, those are days. Those we don't want that days. to happen. Carmel High School cheerleaders, uh, high, highly decorated in uh, travel, and they've been in regional, state, and national champions uh, competitions and have been champions for many years. It's the Carmel High School cheerleaders. And the Carmel Pups cheerleaders. And following the uh, Carmel Pups cheerleaders are uh, the president and Mrs. Lincoln. The president and Mrs. Lincoln here on the Allied Solutions 2023 Carmel Fest Parade. Hello. I met them over at Carmel Fest uh, one one uh, year, Paul. Actually, we uh, we had some photo ops, and uh, yes, we did. I tell you, you get a couple of lemon shakeups and Abe, and he'll tell you some tall tales. <laughs> I, uh, I, something about being a vampire slayer. I didn't know what the heck he was talking about. Boy, look at this ride coming up here. This is uh, a great uh, vehicle that we have our, our great interviewers from earlier. We have CBS4 anchor Melissa Crash and meteorologist Krista McEnany from the most uh, watched newscast in central Indiana, we might add. And they're here at Carmel Fest Parade today, did the interviews, and now they're, uh, they're right there in the parade going by, as you said, in, a, in a, an incredible uh, vehicle. Do we know, we know what kind of vehicle that is? You're pretty good with cars. Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> that is really uh, spectacular, though. I wish we did have a handle on that. But here comes Miss Indiana. Mm -hmm. Miss Indiana, 2023, 22-year-old Sydney Bridges from Fort Wayne. She's a graduate from Huntington University with a degree in nursing. And she begins working this summer at Riley Hospital in Indy. And during her reign as Miss Indiana, she's going to travel, of course, all over the state. And you like soccer? You, like, you gather like Zeke. Indiana 11 mascot, <laughs> Zeke. Hey, Zeke. Uh-oh. See now. Well, this uh, just makes him oh, come, geez. you know. And, and <laughs> uh, hey, Zeke. Oh, Zeke. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, Good to go. see you, man. Good to see you. I was uh, frightened at first. He I was a little too. I didn't know his, his persona, you know. He, you got he, that ugly. He, he charged the review stand yeah. a little bit, and I, I didn't want to. 
like what was happening. <laughs> Some of the mascots uh, get a little frisky, as you might remember in past years. And I, our presenting sponsor this year is Merchants Bank. We want to thank them for being a presenting sponsor of the Allied Solutions 2023 Carmel Fest Parade as the Gordon Piper's approach. And they celebrated 60 years out of the Speedway this year. <laughs> they are uh, actually recognized as the most photographed bagpipe band in the world. Some men can wear a kilt and some can't, Paul. I <laughs> tried my hand on that St. Patrick's Day and uh, just got a really bad rash. It's still not really going away. <laughs> About the same thing that happens with my hand-me-down culottes. They look scratchy, don't they? Yeah. Wear those. We, got it. we have the uh, 500 princesses with us today. And I'll, uh, I'll mention every single one of them. There we see our good friend Tim Mayall in the Chevrolet Camaro. We have, uh, we have Grace Gliba. We have Chloe Smith, Michaela Tom, Elizabeth Wetzel, and Caitlin Ebert as our Motor Speedway 500 princesses. Here's our first group of scouts today. They're Pack 105, chartered by St. Mark's United Methodist Church in Carmel. A nice aerial view of the uh, parade right now. Yes, I want to. I want to mention uh, Dave, who is uh, taking care of all the uh, indie business Dave promotions. Ryan. Yep. Uh, the, con the, the, the the conducting of everything technical here today, as far as the video is concerned, with this drone, man, that's so cool. And here's our Carmel Choir that did such a great job on the uh, Star Spangled Banner to kick things off here at the parade. Four hundred students, ten ensembles. Hmm. Hey, the Hoosier MGs, I think what we're seeing here uh, go that by is to pick it up off the number, the Hoosier MGs. Yeah, ours, ours not we're not exactly in order here, I guess. With what right, the, right. Well, it's hard to keep these MGs under control. They're going to they're gonna zip <laughs> ahead. That's true. And, you know. And showboated a bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep, celebrating 100 years of MG motoring, the Hoosier MGs. Oh, that's really sharp. Some of those are really sharp. Yeah, you want to know... Uh, Fun fact, Paul, the first MG produced, I didn't even let you tell me if you wanted to hear it. First MG was produced uh, in 1923 back in Britain. Where, where, oh, okay, you mentioned yep. it, okay. Our cars don't go back that far, but uh, there's some that are 1937 here in our parade today. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay, great. Yeah, if you need me, I'll, I'll be, uh, for fun facts and stuff, I'll be right back there sucking on a chili dog, humming my favorite John <laughs> Mellencamp song, so let me know if you want to. More of that. We are live streaming today on the CBS 4 Indy Facebook page. Let your friends and family know to watch if they can't join us in person. We have a lot of uh, Carmel people, and, and I don't I hate to age us, Dave, but you know, we have our 50 year reunion. Oh, uh, Carmel High School coming up this year. Be. And it's amazing to me as people have shared their biographies how, f how far flung many of the, uh, the, the Carmel High School graduates are. But they all kind of come together. They can with this uh, CBS4 Indy Facebook page live stream today. So if you know somebody that's out of town that might enjoy this, yeah, you know, let them know. Indy Business Promotions taking care of today's live stream and all the technical aspects. Dave doing a great job with that. Well, there's uh, Friday's, one of my favorite places I was looking for earlier, and uh, and now things are maybe getting back in order. I'm not sure by our, the list we were given. Freddy's frozen custard and steak burgers, and a great story behind that. I'll try to say it quick enough here to, before getting away the next uh, display. You just relax and do what you got to do. Really? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Freddy was a World War II survivor, and on his return from the war, he wanted to start a business, and he founded Freddy's. And he founded on family values, freshness of food, which they definitely have, and great service. Oh, I didn't have to talk that fast. No. Oh, shoot. Now let's talk, let's talk about our class reunion some more, Paul. I didn't feel like I gave that enough kudos. And well, yeah, it's happening this year. It's hard to hard for us, at least hard for me, to kind of grasp that it's been that long. But um, 
You know, and, uh, and, and since this is all about the bicentennial of Hamilton County and some of the pioneer families, and we mentioned it briefly, you mentioned it a couple times, but I'm still just amazed that a woman who was an elementary school teacher, when we were getting ready to celebrate our 50th reunion, were going through elementary school, Mrs. Rockhill was here at the age of 99, and she practically danced off. I mean, <laughs> this is just incredible, just incredible. Barbie, that movie, you know, coming out? Yep. Yeah, we got some folks from Flick's uh, uh, Brew House that are here today. Uh, and some of their movies that are coming up. That's a great place to see uh, to see a movie, by the way. You have that dine-in theater type of setting. Barbie's coming out July 21st. And, uh, oh, you got uh, uh, Harrison Ford. Isn't he like 82 or something? He's, uh, he's yeah, back I in Indiana Jones. I don't know how you fight Nazis and run from boulders at that age. But. <laughs> oh, that's great. Twilight Twirlers coming up next. They're marching band alumni of Cecina Memorial High School in Indianapolis, the classes of 64 to 79. This is great. This is great. So the Cecina uh, classes of 64 to 79 represented here. Uh, you've never, you're never too old, they say, to twirl a baton. And there's your proof right there. How about that? Let's see, 64. I know how old I am. That means that uh, somebody out there might be 77. Okay, still, still twirling that baton. And the youngest person out there should be about 62 or 3. So, okay. Well, but not man, to, not Paul. To, yeah, I know. You, know. you know the modern man. <laughs> the mo I thought that would be impressive. <laughs> it was very impressive. Okay. Uh, yeah, I didn't know you were going to bring an abacus, but <laughs> you're very good. Some of our uh, celebrities coming up here, I think. Yes, in this convertible from Fox 59, say hello to meteorologist Jim O'Brien and anchor Jenny Dressler, the most watched news in central Indiana, Fox 59. Isn't everybody saying they're the most watched? Anyway, uh, they're, they're your home, though, for the accurate forecast and your breaking news, and it's good to have Jim. Jim's oftentimes in the Carmel Fest Parade, and uh, also Jenny Dressler from Fox 59. Oh, yeah, I've seen her. We've had a lot of reason to watch the weather here in the past week or so, and... Uh, Certainly good to have you here, Jenny. Hi. <laughs> and one of the more uh, colorful uh, entries coming out from the Indianapolis Chinese Community Center. This is actually the largest Chinese American organization in the greater Indianapolis area. It's a non for profit, solely supported, and run by volunteers. The ICCCI Chinese School offers Chinese language and culture-related art classes with a current enrollment of over 300 students. So we may get to see the lion and dragon dance. I could see you doing that at our class reunion. Ball <laughs> well, Lion and Dragon Dance. Always looking for something novel to do. Oh, yeah. Position yourself by a strobe light. They won't know what hit them. That's right. <laughs> that would be good. I can just about imagine that. Now, the mission of the uh, Chinese Community Center is actually to provide continuous improvements to what is essential to the social awareness, health, and well being of the Chinese community, as well as anybody who enjoys uh, Chinese culture. They provide high-quality and inclusive educational, health, cultural, and social service programs contrib contributing to a vibrant, multicultural landscape in Carmel and Central Indiana. Very colorful, very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Glad to have them here. And they've been coming for a long, long time. Yep, some great costumes there. Who are the Girl Scouts, Paul? Well, that's rhetorical. Don't try to Thank answer you. that. Thank you. I'm glad. Uh, they're here with us today. The Girl Scouts are usually at Carmel Fest every year, and they have a, a great-looking uh, float here. Um, I'll tell you who the Girl Scouts are. They, uh, they see possibilities everywhere because a Girl Scout, you know what they are? An innovator, a risk-taker, and a leader. Hmm. And how long do you think the Girl Scouts have been going as an organization? 70 years. 111 years. Wow. Yep. They got 12 years on Mrs. Rockhill. 
Now, <laughs> now who can do his math? <laughs> That's great. That's great. Let's see. Now we have, uh, I believe, the Actors Theater of Indiana following the Girl Scouts here. We're pausing for uh, uh, the uh, area Chinese community people doing the dragon um, mm -hmm. maneuver. <laughs> it's not the dragon dance, actually. I'm yeah, you sure can't you, sprint yeah. and do that at the same time. That's <laughs> No, you can't. That's a no-no. The Actors Theater of Indiana is Carmel's own professional theater company at the Center for the Performing Arts. <laughs> Bringing Broadway to your backyard. Here comes the Carmel Clay Republican Club with Sue Finkham, the Republican candidate for mayor, riding in the rumble seat of a night. That's not a 1931 Model A. <laughs> Hi, hello, Sue. Sue, uh, recent winner of the uh, primary election here, and will be uh, running uh, in the fall. Representing the Republicans. I slipped that false car information to you as a kind of a prank. Call. It's, <laughs> it's your that's my idea of a joke. <laughs> oh, thanks for making me look stupid. <laughs> oh, here comes candy. But, uh, yeah, there we go. We got you got some. I guess we got I, some candy. This is uh, the Carmel Clay Republican Club. I must have made eye contact with the wrong people. I got nothing. <laughs> um, other candidates for council seats at large, Rich Taylor, Teresa Ayers, North Central District, Ryan Locke, Sharon Minar, and Tony Green, also Adam Austin, uh, he went by earlier, and Lauren Mathis from the West District, also Jacob Quinn for Carmel City Clerk as they continue to roll by. We also have the Hamilton County Republican Party represented here. We have uh, Lieutenant Governor Suzanne Crouch. We have Teresa Ayers, who just went by there. It's the Hamilton County Republican Party. A group that's very active in local politics and actually growing to be one of the largest political organizations in the state. And here comes uh, here comes Lieutenant Governor Susan Crouch, Suzanne Crouch, <coughs> Lieutenant Governor now, running for governor. That's right. Yep. That's right. You can find out all about the Hamilton County Republican Party by uh, looking them up on Facebook or check out their website. Suzanne? <laughs> <laughs> Let's announce her again. Suzanne Crouch, right there. <laughs> Lieutenant Governor running for governor. <laughs> the Hamilton County Republican Party, uh, well represented today. Hey, here comes our first award winner. And a, a Cub Scout pack has snagged uh, the nonprofit Most Patriotic Award. And here it comes. And this is pretty uh, impressive. A giant, a giant scout on a wagon here as they proceed up Carmel Drive. We are the, <laughs> they're doing their chant. I'm gonna let them do it here. This is, they're chartered out of Orchard Park Presbyterian Church. This, uh, this Cub Scout uh, pack has been active for 65 years. <laughs> if you can't hear them, they're going to shout a little louder. They are the Cub Scouts of Pack 124, Orchard Park. Woo! All right. Congratulations on your award. We have more twirlers coming up, Paul. I know you're, you're liking the twirling, and this is Miss Majorette of Indiana. Ireland Grace Jones. What a great name, Ireland. That's a, that's a name. I've, uh, she's going to attend Purdue in the fall and will be one of the All-American twirlers who twirl for the Purdue All-American Marching Band. Junior Miss Majorette of Indiana, we have Veda Noel Jones. Uh, she'll be an eighth grader, actually, at Creekside. And look here, we have, uh, and he's a perennial favorite here at Carmel Fest. Please welcome Kevin Gregory. There he is. Kevin Gregory, WRTV6. Beautiful automobile, too. 
We need to we need to bring in a car expert. I think is what we need to do here. Very very Great possibly because uh, we don't we need it when no cars roll well. <laughs> Indiana Ballet's here. Indiana Ballet Conservatory, located right here in Carmel. They're a world-renowned pre-professional ballet school teaching students as young as three years old. And then they go to ballet companies uh, around the world after that. Here come the uh, Sahara Grotto mini cars. This new unit features uh, 12 mini cars. I think we've got uh, a few of them here today. They were all restored this past year just in time for parade season. Uh, the Sahara Grotto, you may have heard of them, located in Indianapolis. It's a charitable mission to help provide dental care for special needs children. The Sahara Grotto chartered in 1920, and they've had a rich history here. Bethel 68, Job's Daughters, a Masonic youth group for females ages 10 to 20. It promotes uh, friendship, confidence, and the usual good things from the, uh, from the Masons. Sponsored in heart by volunteers from Carmel Masonic Lodge 421, the Indiana Freemasons. Here's our Carmel City Court Judge, Brian Poindexter. Hello, Brian. <laughs> Consistently and without hesitation has sworn to protect and uphold the Constitution of the United States of America, Brian Poindexter. This is the uh, Mercy Church Summer Kids Camp with a nice uh, float coming up. Mercy Road, and they have summer camp coming up July 11th through the 14th. They, got, they brought a bubble machine. <laughs> they did bring a bubble machine. Here's Mary Eckerd from the Clay Township Board. Mary Eckerd lives in Carmel and is an elected official on the Clay Township Board. Welcome, Mary. Good to see you. Oh, Greg and Joni from WJJK, the morning show. <laughs> Greg and Joni help to wake up Central Indiana weekday mornings on 104.5 WJJK, playing your favorite classic hits from bands like Journey and Queen. Carmel Clay Public Library is here. And I love the library, personally. I, and they have all kinds of stuff now. they got these great recording booths in there now, Paul. Really? They have uh, amazing digital media. I love going to... I'm, I'm always just a little hesitant because i got a really bad, badly overdue book, and I, I keep thinking I'm going to get caught on the, uh, <laughs> uh, the fact that I've had uh, Charlotte's Web since third grade and uh, just never never seemed to have the inspiration to bring it back. Now, are you conducting your voiceover business from one of those studios? <laughs> I, cannot talk, I cannot divulge that. <laughs> okay. Here comes the Booth Target and Civic Theater, the longest continuously operating community theater in the nation. They're thrilled about the Center for the Performing Arts. I can't believe it's been this long since um, 2011. Now they've got, they're promoting a couple of uh, shows they got coming up, The Prom, the Broadway musical, The Prom, and also later this month, the Young Artist Program is the first local company to produce Mean Girls, the high school edition. Driving Miss Daisy. Is Miss Daisy back there in that car? Crumble Cookies is here. A crumble you ever had those Crumble Cookies, Paul? I haven't. Oh, my gosh. Every week they have uh, new flavors, and my uh, my wife and my daughter, they, they go crazy for the Crumble Cookies, and uh, and they are very good, although it's it's why paying for my daughter's college has become such a challenge. We have a lot of money invested in the, uh, invested in the Crumble Cookies. <laughs> Do you? That's great. we, we got to thank a few people here that kind of help us out. Uh, Flanner and Buchanan, you may say, well, how could uh, Funeral Home help you out with your uh, parade and broadcast? We're right out in front of them, and they allow us to go in there and use the facility, cool off. Park back there. Yeah, yeah. You, did, you did a great job parking today, too, Paul. Oh, thanks. Yeah, that's, 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 I've kind of turned driving into an art day. <laughs> uh, MCL Restaurant and Bakery hosts a breakfast every year, which is very, very welcome. And also, Oberer's Flowers uh, have, have given us the centerpiece for our table. This is Master Wu, uh, Yu's Taekwondo, providing the highest quality martial arts instruction. 
Master U empowers his students with valuable skills for daily life. That's a strong word, empowers. That's and a strong word. And contributes to safe and uh, safe and peaceful community. Well, Crumble Cookies has a mascot. Oh, okay. And unfortunately, an empty basket as they go by us. So no more cookies oh, in the basket. Just our, just our luck. Can we get a shot while we're waiting here? The over, over, the over flowers. flowers uh, uh, Nobody's no, paying attention, attention to us. Nobody's paying attention to us. So they're, they're, they're beautiful. Yeah. And, and now we uh, we have an F-150 with uh, <laughs> no signage. <laughs> and uh, and I want to recognize uh, the folks on there. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going, folks? Hi, folks. Maybe they're oh, maybe still part of Master. I think uh, it's Master. some part of Master Root use okay, because okay. Uh, here comes some more of the contingent here. All righty. Yeah, in fact, actually, they're down the street quite a ways. Master U has quite <laughs> quite a contingent. Oh. Oh, yeah. The that's snapping what, of the board. That's always that's very impressive. Mm-hmm. There's another one. Oh! <laughs> nice job. You're not going to take any sass off of one Dave Dugan, I'll tell you that. <laughs> you know, the type of guy that would sass someone that's <laughs> able to break a board with their foot? Probably yeah, not. No. Dave just got off an appearance. I want to mention this real quick in in London. Oh, London, Kentucky, though. Kentucky. I, did, I didn't. Oh. I didn't read the small print oh, at first yeah. and uh, okay. wasted a lot of unnecessary money on a passport. There's more master you. We've given him his 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 quota here. Yeah. So, so what? What do you? Uh, do you have oh, some you things want, you want to know more about up? London? Yeah, a little more about oh, London. I went Kentucky. down to the bowels of Kentucky last week. Bowels? Well, and, uh, <laughs> if that's what you call it. Yep. And uh, anyway, not complaining. I don't know. Have you ever freshened up at a coin-operated shower? Oh, Here's gosh, uh, yeah. WTHR, Channel 13, Karen Campbell, and Allison uh, Gormley with 13 News. You're a leader in local news. Everybody's the leader. Uh, working every day to bring you the best coverage of central Indiana. Good to have Allison and Karen with us. Here's Rowdy from the Indians. Oh, yeah, Rowdy. Is he the one that sometimes uh, gets a little... No, I don't. Oh. Roddy's usually I pretty well behaved. Okay, Roddy, think. Roddy. Oh, Roddy's well, here. let's not push it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I love the Indians. I've been to uh, just one game so far this year, but I hope to get back to a lot more. It's nothing more relaxing than sitting there with your favorite beverage or snack and uh, watching some baseball. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is uh, all right. I see where we're at now. I thought for a second I was lost. But well, you're not uh, lost at all. We have the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office with a nice uh, nice float behind him here. Hamilton County Sheriff Dennis Quakenbush and his deputies want to wish everybody uh, from the Hamilton County community a very happy and safe 4th of July. We haven't really talked about it being a uh, uh, you know happy 4th of July as much as we should, Paul, because that's, mm -hmm. that's today. It's one of my favorite days of the year. I really Did you buy uh, enjoy home it. fireworks this year? I did not. I'm, I'm going to mm -hmm. let other people... Uh, uh, light those off for me. I used to, but when you're he the only to be, one that uh, enjoys it, you know, you're on kinda, quite a show. I don't, I don't want to sound bitter today on 4th of July. But anyway, I used to light off a lot of fireworks, and thank you for calling it quite a show. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess we did light off uh, a bunch <laughs> together once at uh, Dale Hollow, did, did we not? Everybody had to run for cover on that one, Dave. Yeah. I think we'd best forget about that oh, one. Yeah, we got there some were dangerous. flying all over. We got some black market ones that time. I don't know what we bought those in the back room, I think. <laughs> you, should not, you shouldn't light off something called the, called the digital destroyer. I should have known better. <laughs> Yeah, so I do have a safe uh, and happy 4th of July. You know what I'm grateful for today? It's very comfortable, very comfortable out. And sometimes, it, some years, it gets really hot. But today, very, very nice. Well, you wore a nice uh, a nice breezy blouse, too, Paul. That's probably That's why. That's right. Our, good, our goodwill stuff. Dave and I got both of our... I don't not together. Know. We didn't go together. But no, we, we both have goodwill. We got uh, our shirts, our shirts on. at goodwill. And I and I actually uh, did wear the cargo shorts. You're, you're more professional, uh, uh, nice man slack shorts. These might have come from Newman's, you know. Oh, wow. Up. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I'll give them a plug there. But, uh, These are the actual cargo. I actually ordered cargo shorts online not too long ago, and when they came... The pockets were sewed shut, so it's like, what's the point of? <laughs> it's not like you're making a fashion statement by getting cargo shorts mm -hmm. anyway. 
their dad shorts, basically. Mm -hmm. So if the the pockets are are, are uh, sewn shorts. at completely, I mean, you know, not having functional pockets on cargo cargo shorts is kind of like uh, wearing braces when you don't have teeth. I think uh, what our next entry is trying to make up for some time here because they're, they're cruising pretty quickly. Uh, this is Ballet Folklorico Mosaicos. And, and you, you had Spanish in, in school, so maybe I, I, I butchered that. I think so you did I, pretty darn good. Okay, great. Mosaicos, Mosaicos, okay. Dance, passion, and tradition are the manifestations that uh, Ballet Folklorico Mosaicos strives to present. Look at them. Very colorful. Good to see you guys. Great to see you. Through this display of color and movement, there's a piece of work that guarantees the projection of the traditions of each town. Ah, yeah, here they come. This is great. I love this part. Ballet for Glorico Mosaicos. Oh, you're proud of yourself. You said it again. I know. I, I really got... ventured out there. I could have said it wrong. Both Twice now, but no, I think you're doing good. We didn't do our disclaimer anyway. We shouldn't worry about pronunciations <laughs> because uh, anytime oh. we try to find out how to pronounce things, we usually hear, hey, just sound it out. So oh. that's what we're doing. We... This is great. I'm enjoying this. Look at the uh, dancing. Yeah. Oh, this is fantastic. So that pronunciation tip, Paul, when in doubt, just sound it out. That's, that's, okay, uh, that's, that's a good one. I would not be one. on the receiving end of any more mispronunciation lawsuits. Well, here we have, a, we have a judge's choice commercial entry award right here with uh, good folks from Salisbury Brothers Landscaping, uh, kind of in the distance. We're actually seeing right now, uh, you're probably still seeing the, the great dancers there. I'm getting a little ahead of ourselves as I look down to the right side here, but... Uh, uh, you know, I can't. I get excited when there's a when there's a judge's choice winner. Paul, they, but they do a nice job. They really are. every myself. year they do a nice job. They do. This is not their first time winning a judge's choice award. Salisbury Brothers Landscaping, 40 years in Carmel now for them. Pulling this uh, winning float is Jeff Salisbury in his 1965 vintage Mack truck. Wow, very cool. You want to describe the the float there? You got a, you got like a backyard uh, oasis. Oh kind yeah, of thing. an oasis with a, a waterfall. Yeah, it's beautiful. Bubbling it's absolutely boulder. beautiful. Bo uh, yeah, <laughs> stunning plants and shrubs and you know the whole perennials. You have everything there. Salisbury Brothers Landscaping winners today of the Winner for Profit Judges Choice Award at Carmel Fest. So here we have uh, McGavick Outdoor Power. I think might be they might be crashing the parade, Dave. I don't have them, have them in my <laughs> list. <laughs> oh, I, I thought they were all kind of part of the. No, they're in front of the. You, you uh, want to? See, well, gosh, I don't. I don't think I missed anything. But maybe. you want to be part of this parade. You know, there's legal ways to you know sign up and uh, get be line up and all that kind of stuff, or, yeah. or you could just kind of blend in. Anyway, uh, here we come with. <laughs> Indy Sewa, Indy, Indiana's local chapter of Sewa International's humanitarian nonprofit service organization. It gives back to the community in a number of ways. 55 Sewa volunteers helped in the recent 13th annual Carmel Marathon in registration, water stop, and, and all the things that go with the marathon. And this is their presentation today. These young volunteers collect food items, diapers, clothes, and distribute them to food banks and care centers through the Sewa Diwali events. And they adopted Carmel's Founders Park. Under the adopted park, they maintain it by picking up the, the litter and, and cleaning. Now, I know enough about cars to say these are Corvettes, Paul. This is the uh, Corvette Indy Club, one of the coolest clubs, actually, in the state. They've been at Carmel Fest many times before. I believe maybe this is their 30th anniversary, actually, of uh, being a participant. Wow. They have a, uh, they've gone from like a handful of members to now they have like over 250 members uh, that drive the Corvettes and, uh, and attend parades and so forth as they are today. 
And you see them at car shows, you see them at drive and dines, road trips, club parties, mm -hmm. community parades, uh, including homecoming parades at Butler, at several local high schools, Indy 500 events. Stop me if you've had enough autocross. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. You got your road rallies. You, you won't uh, see them, though, at, when hail is in the forecast. <laughs> They will not true. be out under those circumstances. Yep. The annual Vets in Vets, as they call it, uh, car show, meaning uh, Vets, short for Corvette, got it, and got Vets, it. like, okay, yep. uh, is going to be the largest of all Corvette shows in Indiana. I didn't mean to talk to you like you're an idiot. Thanks, <laughs> thanks a lot to the sponsor, too, Penske Chevrolet, for bringing Corvette Indy to Carmel Fest today. You can go on the website if you want to know more about, about it all, Paul. CorvetteIndy.com. Now, these, these guys, when we get to the parade, they're, they're going to just drive away. No, no problem there. But there are a lot of people that are walking or otherwise not able to get back. You don't uh, you know, drive the float back to the parking lot. So we want to thank Top Shelf Tours for providing a big service to get all the people that, that end up uh, up at Carmel High School back down to Merchant Square and, and back to their vehicles today. One of the, just one of the, you know, behind the scenes people that sort of really make this thing work. Absolutely. Beck Hunter orchestrates this whole thing. She does such a, a wonderful job of it. Another behind the scenes is Community Health Network. Their medical staff are here today. Uh, first aid tents along the parade route if anybody needs any medical care. Carmel Jazz Fest. Coming up, hello, Carmel Jazz Fest. Get jazz for the inaugural Carmel Jazz Fest. It's Friday, August the 11th, and Saturday, August 12th. 30 jazz, blues, and R&B acts. Yeah, food vendors and art market. You can get tickets now. Get your tickets for Carmel Jazz Fest at carmeljazzfest.org. Well, we've seen some incredible, uh, I guess, uh, uh, costumes today, Paul. And this is the one that gets the judge's choice for best costume, the Indiana Association of Chinese Americans. Welcome to Carmel Fest. That is a tough category this year because I have seen some excellent uh, costumes. You have first, second, and third generation uh, Hoosier Chinese that are uh, here in this group. A lot of them have actually served our great nation in uniform since World War II. The Indiana Cherry Blossom Princes, hello. Yes, Jasmine. Hesu, I hope I'm saying that correctly. I'm trying. You, you, didn't, you didn't correct me. You just let me die out there on a vine. <laughs> well, Thanks, Paul. I, I, the H might be silent. I don't know. Okay. Maybe. I Sorry. Don't know. Okay, you might be right. Okay. Might but anyway, be. Uh, great to have her here and, and this whole group. This is Ling's Orient, Oriental Martial Arts. Uh, down the way. This is going to be a little, a little bit of a show, Paul. I can see. I want to respect our cherry blossom princess, Paul. Uh, uh, could you? Would you be a doll on Google if the H is silent? <laughs> oh, that's why Judy Hagen is over here, and she she takes care of all this stuff for us. Judy, could you Google on HS? I want to say Jasmine's or? last name do we correctly. Say, do we say Hesu or Sue? Well, she says Sue probably. She doesn't want to look up on Google. She's okay. Yeah. Slacking over here a little bit. Yep. Now, Judy keeps us up on all the awards. She helps us, keeps us on pace with the parade and, and has been doing, doing this for several years, which are appreciated. Again, we are looking at the judge's choice for best costume at Carmel Fest this year, the Indiana Association of Chinese Americans. Congratulations on a, a, a well-deserved award for best costume. Absolutely. Looking great, looking great. We heard the uh, drums up there, Paul, and I should mention that's the Okinawa drum group with a great drum performance and, and some of our, we were talking about some of the vets that have actually fought for our country uh, as we have first, second, and third generation of Hoosier Chinese as part of the group. This is Hollywood Cheer and Tumble, a nationally ranked cheerleading tumble and gymnastics program that's been part of the Carmel community as well as this parade for the past 15 years. And they're now part of the Carmel Performing Arts Center and Sports Entertainment, a brand new facility at 201 West Carmel Drive.
Well, Paul, we've had the usual things here at Carmel Fest, like the flyover earlier. Uh, and we are, of course, going to have an incredible grand finale with a lot of our uh, more patriotic type uh, uh, displays and, and veterans. And, and we'll talk about it coming up here. But that's uh, this is going kind of fast today. It is. It's a very, very fast paced parade, which is nice. Here we have the Indiana Supports Ukraine group. They stand with Ukraine and want to ensure Hoosier support is felt in every Ukrainian household. They provide humanitarian aid to families in need and the frontline heroes. Indiana Supports Ukraine. One young woman here with a, a, a poster that says, my dad is fighting in Ukraine. So what's happening over there is sitting very close to home for a lot of people. We have another winner, Dave. Uh, this is the for-profit for most patriotic entry coming up, and they're going to rock us out. The School of Rock. School of Rock Carmel, which inspires all students of all ages to rock on the stage and rock in life. Here they come. Oh, they're doing, uh, they're doing Rosanna. That song, Paul, was uh, written for Rosanna Arquette, was it not? Was that not the inspiration? I didn't know that. I did not know that. Did you tell me no more fun facts? I don't remember. <laughs> Where do we stand with that? I did not. Because I, I felt the sucker punch earlier. I didn't appreciate it. But you know, Dave, as you head toward those twilight years, um, you know, they, they'll give you a free lesson. You sound like the School of Rock. They give you a free lesson. Are you making eye contact with me when you say the yeah. Philippine, The Philippine Cultural Community Center. They're a nonprofit that focuses on cultural education and promotion of Filipino traditions located on the south side of Indy. Their center is open to the general public. Oh, that's a cool, uh, cool entry. Well, I don't think we've had them before. I think it's a first. I don't see that in here, but I'm almost sure this is their initial Carmel Fest uh, appearance. They have free art classes, social workshops, and you can visit their farmer's market. They have one uh, themselves every Saturday from noon to 3. For more information about the Philippine Cultural Community Center, go to phcenter.org. We've got another winner, uh, Carmel Chris Kendall-Marked. Uh, did I get the K in there? Marked. Get Chris Kendall-Marked. He is bringing the old world charm of Christmas uh, in Germany to beautiful Carmel, Indiana. Over a million people, Dave, have attended the number one rated holiday market by the USA Today 10 Best Reader's Choice Awards since it opened back in 1917. Chris Kendall March. Uh, this is the. Uh, say it, don't spray it. <laughs> Did I do that? This is the nonprofit winner, the judge's choice nonprofit winner. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's, it's so traditional. It's great. Uh, join us this winter. The, the, the dates for uh, the Chris Kendall marked are November 18th through Christmas Eve. Uh, they'll be open Wednesdays and Thursdays. Well, you can't remember it between now and then, but they're, they're open in the evenings. That's some fun stuff out there. And, and during the daytimes and Saturdays and Sundays. They have these unbelievable uh, pretzel bites. Uh, that people stand in long lines for. Hot glue line. appear and Yeah, bratwurst. We have Carmel Farmers Market with us right now, in fact, and kind of doing a different thing this year, and it's in honor of bees, as you can kind of tell by the costuming. In a serious uh, note, uh, all over the world, bees are disappearing, uh, Paul, because of the loss of bee habitat, mm. and they have fewer places to live. Today, celebrating their 25th anniversary this year, Carmel Farmers Market is bringing attention to the rapid disappearance of the bee habitat with their float theme, Save the Bees, and uh, Save the Bee Habitat. So uh, they're handing out, uh, now I'm not finding it, but they're handing out uh, uh, sweet straws. Yeah, they are straws. They're over there on the other side. Oh, because we're not getting, not getting any. So, any here. Gosh, I don't know what it is. Uh, the, it might be our Goodwill uh, shirts that we're wearing. I don't know. But, <laughs> but honey straws for the kids. Uh, from the Carmel Farmers Market, and I, you know, I really do uh, have a lot of respect for the bees, and uh, I didn't know they were there was a loss of them because we we were lousy with them at the Dugan home, but uh, yeah, lousy. And I, I, I let them live because they they're important. Good, good for you. That's yeah, great. You know. Hey, here comes uh, Regal Cinemas Village Park 17. 
And they've got a, a host of characters here, too. They brought along some of your favorites, like Barbie, making an appearance for the grand opening of her movie, July 21st. Also, we have uh, Stuart Minion. We're going by us right now, Stuart Minion. It's going to be a little hot in there. I'm glad you're calling by his birth name. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, let's see, who else do we have here? Uh, Gwen. Uh, Gwen Stacy featured in Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, which is uh, now playing. And Leonardo from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I believe here comes, uh, let's see, do we have Gwen Stacy here? Yep. A little glare coming off that sign. That's Barbie. Hey, Barbie. <laughs> also, they want to mention Tiny the T-Rex, who will be appearing on the big screen coming up in August. Well, this always feels summery when we had the goldfish swim school with us here at Carmel Fest, uh, Paul. They're actually the leading organization for infant and toddler swim lessons, teaching uh, children the important thing, how to be safer in and around the water. And, uh, um, you know, I'm not saying I'm the best swimmer, but I, 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 when I was uh, young and had the lessons, I did become a, uh, a minnow. I got up to the minnow <laughs> level. And I, think, I think my parents were quite, were quite proud, actually. Uh, I talked to them about, about that, Dave. I've got some bad news, so uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about that later, okay? Okay, well, let me... Uh, we have sister cities. Carmel has sister cities, and I have uh, done a little research into this, Dave, and I, I want you to know that these sister cities, there are several. Uh, Kawashi Nagano, Japan. You want me to say that again? Kawashi I think Nagano. You want, I think you want to say it again. Yeah. Uh -huh. I do. I put a lot of research into that. <laughs> Xinjiang, China. Also, Yelgava, Latvia. Thank you, Judy. And Cortona, Italy. Carmel Sister Cities. This is the uh, Japan America Society of Indiana coming on to uh, represent Carmel Sister Cities. That's nice. Kind of an unexpected uh, uh, addition to the parade here this year. Kawisha Nagano, Japan. We welcome you here to Carmel. We're glad to have you today. It's great to see you. You're a wonderful addition to our parade. The Allied Solutions Carmel Fest Parade, Merchants Bank, one of our, our, our presenting sponsors. Remind me not to try to talk over that, uh, Paul. Right. I've got to learn after doing this all these years, you don't talk over it. <laughs> well, I think I can sneak in here, though, now. All and right. say This is Stewart and Stewart's fire truck since 1982. The Stewart and Stewart attorneys have been serving Carmel with a clear mission. And that's treating clients like family. Let Stuart and Stuart help. Sounds like I'm doing a bit of a co commercial. But this year, we, would uh, we I'd say we, but I mean they, would like to honor and recognize Officer Mikkel Leach, the Carmel Police Department's Officer of the Year. How am I doing on my pronunciations? Uh, it could be Michael. Just spelled oh. a little bit differently. I don't know. M-I-K-E-L, OK? Uh, hey. <laughs> OK. Here comes the Hamilton County Democratic Party. Please welcome the Hamilton County Democrats to the Carmel Fest Parade with their candidates. I wish I could say more, but that's all they gave me was just please welcome the Carmel Democratic Party. I gave, I got to keep it fair here. It's good to see you guys though. Say it twice, I don't know. Okay. Maybe. Say it like nobody heard of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Miles Vermeer. We gave uh, Sue Finkham a plug, but uh, the Democratic candidate, Miles Vermeer. Here's the IU Health 
Department of Public Safety, comprised of sworn police officers, non-sworn public safety officers, responsible for safety and security of all patients and visitors, and the uh, team members at IU North Hospital. Here comes Mimo the monkey. <laughs> Mimo the monkey. He's don't mock the monkey, Paul. <laughs> Don't mock the monkey. <laughs> He's the mascot for my gym, Spring Mill, a children's fitness center joining the community in September. They offer children's fitness classes, birthday parties, camps, and more. So get your kids engaged in active play by joining the my gym family today. Here at Carmel Fest, we have a bank that is opening soon in Carmel, the American Bank of Freedom with a patriotic uh, float behind them. Paul, oh, I could tell why you said Mimo the monkey. You, you, I thought you were going to break out into a uh, Peter Gabriel song for a second. The <laughs> way anyway, you just rolled it off like in a, in a, with Mimo. a lot of cadence. Mimo. Right. I hope that's how he says it, too. It's an M-Y-M-O. Hey, here's the Teacher of the Year. Carmel Clay Schools uh, celebrating Teacher of the Year. Christine David Duke. There she is. Congratulations, Christine along with fellow teachers and students walking today. So let's hear from the unsung heroes who ignite curiosity and inspire future generations. Thank you, Carmel Clay teachers. Thank you very much. We've had almost all of our TV stations uh, with us today, Paul, and uh, here's Wish TV 8, in fact. We have Scott Sander. Welcome to Carmel Fest, Scott. Local guy, local guy. Good to see you, Scott. And we also have uh, Lena Pringle. Good to have you at Carmel Fest from Wish TV 8. You can catch them on Wish TV's Daybreak News weekday mornings from 4 to 10 a.m. And here comes the Sheridan Blackhawk Marching Band. Always good to have Sheridan's marching band with us. We have, under the direction of Libby Doublestein, Johnny McGinnis, and Amarin Klingerman. They'll be competing at the State Fair Band Day on August 4th. Hey, I can't believe it's time already, but we're going to get into the grand military finale of the parade here. Now, it's a big finale, and Beck Hunter with Hunter of Homes and our Carmel Press Parade Director is once again honored to pay special tribute with extreme gratitude to our men and women in uniform who defend our great country. Our red, white, and blue salutes our red, white, and blue with this emotional military tribute grand finale. We have military heroes here today from several states and all over the U.S., uh, including the Air Force, Army, Coast Guard, Marines, National Guard, and Navy. We want to thank these people for being here. As they come uh, walking up Carmel Drive, this is always a challenging part for us because we have so many dignitaries, so many veterans that come out and uh, are part of this grand finale, which is just spectacular. You may see the United States Marine Corps is coming here. We've got the Hamilton County Veterans Corps hosting the Hamilton County Bicentennial Military and Veterans Celebration and Resource Fair Saturday, July the 8th. It's coming Saturday from 11 to 3 at Noblesville. We should probably ask everybody to stand as the veterans are going by if, if, it, if they're Absolutely. You know, please possible stand. Possible to stand, then please. The Marine Corps League veterans represented today on their replica, replica rather, of the World War II Higgins boat landing craft. The Hiram I. Beers Detachment supports the VA hospital and several veteran assistant programs in our area and have been appearing in military tribute grand finale of our parades for many years. So welcome back, Marines. Don't you say, oorah? 
Hoorah! Hell, yeah, there you go. I'm not sure if you're allowed. It might be a union thing, Paul. No, I know. You should have worn a ha hard hat when you said it. <laughs> we have the uh, Hoosier Bay submarine veterans here with us. Joining Carmel Fest again and um, showing their spirit with the torpedo float. Welcome to Carmel Fest, U.S. submarine veterans. And the Island Four Navy Seabees sailed into Carmel today from Newcastle, Indiana. The Navy Seabees of America, a nonprofit organization of veterans. They have served in Naval Construction Force commands, dedicating and pledging themselves to preserve the fundamental ideals which our nation was founded. You, you know who was uh, CB, Paul? I do not. Uh, Ward Cleaver. Oh, really? Yeah, I've been watching a lot of, wow. lot of uh, Leave it to be really. That's great. The Navy Seabees, uh, re representing more of our uh, military forces that are here today. We appreciate your service. Thank you so much for being here today. The USO of Indiana is here, serving our military members and their families since 1941. The USO strengthens America's military service members. They keep them connected to family and home and country throughout their service to the nation. There's U.S. Army Sergeant Ted Pontus of the Korean War. He's 93 years old and riding in his World War II resort Jeep, which almost made the Normandy invasion. Wow. Yeah, it remained in England, was used at a U.S. Army Air Corps base to move pilot crews. F3 stands for Fitness, Fellowship, and Faith. We have the F3 Indianapolis Jeep with us today. And that group consists of several veterans. Any man can join who wants to, though. The Desert Storm Marine Humvee is next. And here comes William Vickery driving his 1987 Military Humvee in the Military Tribute Grand Finale today. If Spot. I'm not mistaken, Bill was a uh, Carmel grad. Oh, you remember okay. the name? I do. I, oh, yeah, well, I the, think it's the same William. Well, Vick the, the Vickery name is certainly big around here for sure. Ty Jester, his father, Greg Jester, had brought uh, the 1971 M15 1A2 Mutt Military Utility Tactical Truck. And there's the Veterans Support Council and the, and the Mayor's Advisory Council for Veterans. The World War II Roundtable and Veterans Support Council going by. And now we're back to more Corvettes, because they tie in with veterans uh, big time, oh, Paul. Some yeah. members of the Corvette Club are military veterans themselves, and they're here today uh, not only as our honorees, but to provide other military veterans a ride in style. Those that want to participate in the military tribute grand finale of the parade, but say couldn't walk along the parade route, the Corvettes came through right here. The Allied Solutions 2023 Carmel Fest Parade. Wrapping up with this final unit here from the, uh, the Corvettes and the veterans in the Corvettes. And again, thanks to Beck Hunter, Hunter of Homes, uh, for her sponsorship of this uh, tremendous and very patriotic grand finale today. Paul, someone once said, liberty is the secret of happiness. And that's what, uh, that's what those who won our independence believe. And we have a lot of those uh, special souls with us today, keeping the American spirit alive. You kind of want it not to be just one day a year where we really, uh, where we really go right. eight for our veterans because they deserve it year round, of course. But always a grand finale. Uh, that brings the patriotic side of July 4th, July 4th uh, home. And, and uh, oh, I guess it was me. I thought my acoustics <laughs> went bad, but <laughs> yeah, maybe I just need a lozenge. Anyway, what a parade, Paul. Again, and it went awfully fast, it seemed to me. It does. But, uh, it did. It was a good one. It was a smooth one. The weather was perfect. You mentioned uh, Allied Solutions as our parade sponsor, and we're glad to have them on board again this year. And also Merchants Bank of Indianapolis as our Carmel Fest sponsor. And as people start to uh, gather, pick up their lawn chairs, many of which have been out here for how many days, Dave? I mean, the people come out here way ahead of time. To I saw somebody putting it down on uh, on February 2nd. I thought it was some sort of Groundhog's <laughs> Day <laughs> tradition or something, but evidently they were just trying uh, to save their space. That, that, that does go back a ways. It does. 
So we have uh, we have a, a whole day ahead of us. I guess we'll aren't we going to venture over to Carmel Fest, Paul? Absolutely. Because uh, oh gosh, I got it. I always have to get at least one lemon shake up. You know me and the lemon shake ups. Yep. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm uh, with the lemon shake ups. I'm. So those to me are like uh, like the like the hand blower at a bowling alley. I can't get enough of either <laughs> one of them. And uh, and I, I don't think I'll say oh my gosh again because I said it. I over, I overkilled that one. I still want to. Well, I know it's substituting for something less appropriate. So that's fine. You say oh my gosh all you want. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the permission. Uh -huh. I appreciate that very much. So we have. Uh, we have a few things coming up uh, at Carmel Fest, including a great lineup of music at about two or maybe three stages, actually. There's always the gazebo one. And then there's one, and I'm going to mention, uh, the, all the bands deserve mentioning, but I have to mention one that I hopefully will go see this afternoon. And that is, uh, boy, I better, I better say the right thing. Uh, Wonderland, that's the name of the band, okay. Wonderland. I've been wanting to see him for years, uh, old time. Uh, I say old time, I mean like a long time comedian friend. It's his son's band. And I think they're at 415, and I just gave them a, a nice plug because I said I, I wanted to do that. I hope well, that's I, great. I hope to even be there and and uh, cheer on cheer them on because I've heard they're uh, they're they're fantastic. I heard Mayor Brainerd earlier speak about how he enjoys the symphony performance before the fireworks. It's really one of the highlights of Carmel Fest for him, and so that's coming up later on. And they uh, promise a stunning 30-minute uh, fireworks show. I believe they said 9:45 tonight. Yeah, uh, I think I don't think I can wait that long. You think they can go to about uh, about two thirty for the fireworks show? <laughs> two thirty, I think that would be kind of hard to see. Mm -hmm. Maybe a very. Hard, uh, You're not only good at the math. You are. <laughs> yep, you you got it all. You got it all, man. Well, it's been a pleasure to uh, to work alongside you. And great to work alongside you. I was going to say, oh, I thought we were still on camera there, and I didn't realize it until my peripheral oh, now vision. We are. There oh, boy, are. there we go. Mm -hmm. Is that what we look like now? Is I'm that, afraid it oh is. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. It's about time we got a makeup artist or something <laughs> yeah. on board. I don't know. Yeah. Although I don't do well with makeup. It kind of clogs my veins, kind of like the uh, the Buddy Epson deal in, uh, when he tried to be the Tin Man in The Wizard of Oz. Huh. His skin couldn't breathe right or something, especially <laughs> if it's rouge. I don't like the rouge. So uh, I would say I also wanted to honor another person we've worked with and had the pleasure to work with since uh, about 2007. What is that now? About 16 years. Peggy Powell. Uh, this will be her last Carmel Fest. And she's been a great coordinator of the uh, parade, and, uh, and I've uh, met with her and her husband every, John, every year. Uh, John used to do, uh, do all the convertibles, too, uh, here. So they are uh, sailing into the sunset as far as Carmel Fest is <laughs> okay. concerned. I mean, they'll probably come back and attend. Oh, yeah, they'll attend, but all you know right. what I mean as far as being that mm -hmm. hands-on. And we did something that's a tradition with us yesterday, but we reversed roles. Every time I go over to get the script, John always would give me a Coors Light. Oh. Uh, it sort of is just a little bonus for coming over here the script. Well, yesterday they delivered the script to me, so I returned. I returned How about the uh, that? tradition. And uh, man, I love that story. Mm. Anyway, so uh, what, do you think we should wind it up, or do people still want to hear us chit chat? Maybe. Well, I'll know. tell you what. Why don't you uh, tell me? You know, we we, we established it. You just came back from London, then we oh, found yeah, London, out it was London, Kentucky. London, Kentucky. It wasn't and, bad. They were nice, uh, down to earth people. I, I, I prefer that over the royalty London, actually. So. Right. Okay. They understood no what you were there. saying and everything. And, they did. <laughs> right. Yes, they did understand what okay, I was saying. That's, that's good. Yep. And uh, what's coming up? Oh, coming up. Uh, let's see. There's there's uh, quite a few things for a while. They're really supposed to not be for the public, like you know, like a corporate show here and there. Although I always invite anyone who uh, is interested if they find out that I'm at one of those corporate shows and, and playing at the whatever the embassy and suites or wherever I'm doing this uh, statewide or national conference please crash uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, nobody's gonna do that well they might if they don't uh, want to then as far as local stuff in August uh, I'll be in Lebanon uh, and again, am I going to have to get a passport? No. No, that's the Boone County probably. Uh, at the Echo Room. First time at uh, the Echo Room that on August 4th. And August 5th, a place I really, uh, this is really sounding like plug over here, Paul, but August 5th is Daniel's Vineyard, which is out, uh, it's technically uh, McCordsville, but it's in the Fishers area. And that's a place I've done several great, they've been fun shows, sold out most of every time. And, and the Tempos will be with me. This is going to be kind of a music oh, yeah. and comedy mm -hmm. uh, combination on August 5th. And uh, those see, you know, yeah, so hopefully some folks will come out there. It's the outdoor venue and, uh, and it should be a lot of fun. Well, it sounds like a pretty busy agenda, Dave, and it, uh, it, uh, for me, it's just another uh, a blissful set of days of retirement. And uh, next thing on my calendar is July 4th, 2024. Oh, oh, well, uh, okay. Hopefully, well, I, I, I haven't I, been asked I, back yet. I think you'll have some good times in between there. Oh, in the next year, I in 66 days, leap year mm -hmm. next year. You, mm -hmm. you might not have. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
So yeah, but anyway, I, I'm doing. I'm in the middle of my inappropriate tan uh, tour. So. <laughs> If uh, tan lines, I guess, uh, to her, I don't know. I'm making this stuff up as we go, even though so I think they cut. I think they actually uh, shut the camera and mic off about uh, about six minutes ago. So we're the only two that can actually see and hear this. So. We are the only mm -hmm. ones. So they're anyway, humorous, which is nice. I don't know. Let's go do something, Paul. Let's All get right. a lemon shake up. Okay. Go hunt arrowheads. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> I would like to do that because this has been, uh, as always, a lot of fun. And you, uh, we got to do the Lido shuffle and get out of here. And uh, uh, light fuse and get away would be my tip. Life is a highway and. Uh, my bags are and packed. I'm ready to go. All right, if, uh, all right, if, Dave. If, if Thank you, you very much. Pleasure working you, with you. Can't be with one you love, love the one you're with. <laughs> I have, I have quite. Okay, good working with you, Paul. Carmel Fest 2023. We'll see you next year. Thanks a lot.